When a chlorine release occurs, it is imperative to not only stop the release, but to properly dispose of the remaining or released chlorine. If a leak occurs at the consuming location, as in connected to a process, the best course of action may be to dispose of the chlorine through the normal consuming process or to run a temporary line to the consuming point. This method works on the principle of using up the remaining chlorine before it becomes a hazard. However, systems using liquid chlorine at low consumption rates will not significantly reduce the pressure in the supply container. Field disposal or remediation should only be considered after consultation with qualified emergency response contractors or producers. The Chlorine Institute can help to put you in contact with these individuals. Under emergency conditions, an alkali absorption system can be utilized to facilitate the removal of chlorine from a damaged vessel. The chlorine reacts with the caustic solution to produce a bleach solution that can be safely handled and removed from the site. The absorption system consists of a suitable tank capable of holding the required alkaline solution. This chart shows the recommended alkali qualities. The material of construction of the system must be compatible as recommended by qualified individuals. The chlorine is moved from its container into the solution through a sparger system in the tank. During the absorption, substantial heat is generated as a result of the reaction of chlorine with the alkali solution. Extreme care should be taken, as the caustic solution can cause burns to personnel. The process must be monitored to ensure the absorption is controlled so that you do not exceed the reaction capacity of the caustic solution. This information is not intended to contain all the details of the process. It's only intended to make you aware of the process. As stated earlier, this process should only be conducted by trained individuals. Most governmental agencies have reporting requirements for chlorine releases. Producers, transporters, and consumers of chlorine should be aware of the reportable quantity and of all relevant requirements. All transportation releases, no matter the quantity, require reporting to DOT. Basically, if you can see it, smell it, or hear it during a transportation function, it is a non-accident release, or NAR, and requires reporting to DOT.